Sometimes you can be on a momentum, you can just be focused, but all of a sudden you're just ambushed by things in life. The ministry was growing. All of a sudden, I just took sick. I want you to give God a shout of praise. My name is John Barton. I'm the founding pastor of Living Life Church of Lafayette. Basically, I've been pastoring for about 10 years now and I've uh, been in ministry for 20 years. That's really been my focus. It's been my heart to share the Word of God in a way that people are not resistant to it. I'm uh, John's big brother. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're identical twins, uh, me and John. So. Uh... It's almost like you a celebrity. Everybody stopping you. Hey, are y'all twins? All our lives, we were together. When I became ill, uh, I thought it was something flu-like, which I've never gotten the flu in my life. I was, I was thinking it was maybe just a bad sinus infection. Just need to get some rest, get on some antibiotics, and he'll probably be good in you know the next few days or so. He just kept saying how you just have these chills and fever and how it's been going on for three weeks. The truth of the matter is I was getting worse. I received three diagnoses. The first diagnosis was I had pharyngitis. The second diagnosis I had was bronchitis. The third diagnosis I received was pneumonia. As I was getting ready for work, he had an episode. And he just said, Michael, look, my head is feeling numb. I felt like my head was swelling. I asked my brother, I said, call 911. This is very unusual. We arrived at the hospital, and that's the last thing I remember. I was out for three weeks, got into an unresponsive state. They were running every type of test, testing for everything. Everything was coming back negative, to where they were just guessing, pulling at straws to see, okay, it could be this, it could be that, let's treat this. And everything that they were treating was not fixing the situation. He was just getting worse. Finally, my brother, he just kept saying, check his head, check his head, check his head. He finally did an MRI on my brain. The neurologist came in, showed us the inflammation on, on the monitor. It was a scary sight to see. And whenever he came in, he came in like just, look, there's it's not much we can do. My lungs were shutting down. My kidneys were shutting down. My heart was shutting down. All of my vital organs were shutting down. He was facing death. Reality is, they did not know his diagnosis. After three weeks of being in ICU, and fighting for my life. The doctors witnessed a remarkable recovery. When I woke up, I was fully conscious, couldn't move. I saw my brother and I tried to talk. Nothing could come out. It was looking grim. He had a trach tube to where he couldn't breathe on his own. I wanted to be optimistic about a recovery, but my prediction for a recovery for him would have been wheelchair dependent, maybe a tracheostomy, maybe able to feed himself. The biggest fear that I had when I was in the hospital was that I would never preach again. My voice would not be the way it used to be. There you go, say that again, hi. So there goes my ministry, there goes my writing, hopes and dreams for a family one day. You like to talk again? Uh, Say yes. Yeah. You're gonna shave my hair with me. Say yes. Yeah. Way to go. All right. His limbs began to start getting stronger. He started to move. Everything they doubted and said that I wouldn't do, little by little, was overcoming every odd. You know, I would have thought the likelihood of him recovering as well as he has would, would have been less than 5%. So I was with him the entire two months to make sure my brother get out of this hospital. So I was, I was there helping him fight. And I just pretty much fought my way back on my feet. 
and I knew that I still had purpose to fulfill. I still had a life to live. I still had dreams and vision to carry out. And God gave me the grace to get through this situation. Well, it was over a year ago that I was sick and in the hospital and fighting for my life. And I had an illness that had me paralyzed for three weeks, unresponsive. John's case is a very fascinating one, and I'm honored to have been a part of it. I can't take any credit for him getting better. Some of this, I, I, I do believe, was part miracle. I just keep beating the odds. New body, new church, and God has graciously blessed me with a beautiful wife. I was given a death sentence, but God said no. <laughs> he gave me a miracle. And although I was uh, paralyzed, although I was unresponsive, although I had a 10% chance of living and surviving whatever I was dealing with, God miraculously brought me through this.